The day after finally getting the gangster caught, Jai Hoon, Hyun Wook, and Bam Siok are praised by everyone in the school. Since many of their classmates had taken loans from the gangster, they are thankful he has been arrested. The incident brings the trio closer, and they decide to go out on the weekend to try out a new restaurant. Hyun Wook suggests they bring Young Yi as well, and everyone agrees. But since Bam Siok is not as close with Young Yi as the other two, he wishes it was just the three of them. At home, he goes through Hyun Wook's Instagram only to find out that he is following Young Yi but not him. It hurts Bam Siok's ego and makes him feel like Young Yi is more important to his friends than he is. To add to his misery, Hyun Wook and Young Yi ignore him the entire time they go out on the weekend. They walk around without waiting for him, making him feel like he isn't wanted there. By the end of the day, they are at a karaoke and Bam Siok feels like he has been left out by all three of them. When he goes out to get a drink, his bullies from his previous school follow him. Scared, Bam Siok runs away and hides in a room. Upon returning to the karaoke, he finds Young Yi talking to his bullies on his phone. Bam Siok yells at her for picking it up, surprising the group. Just then, the bullies arrive looking for Bam Siok, but leave him alone on seeing Jai Hoon and Hyun Wook with him. Bam Siok is too ashamed to admit that he was bullied, so he dismisses them when asked who the guys were. The following morning at school, Bam Siok yells at a classmate for being too loud. When the guy talks back, Bam Siok starts terrorizing him. He only stops after being dragged away by Hyun Wook. The guys ask Bam Siok what is bothering him but he ignores the conversation once again. For the next few days, Bam Siok doesn't come to school which worries his friends. One afternoon, Jai Hoon and Hyun Wook go to his house to make sure he is okay. The massive apartment surprises them and they finally realize that the rumor about Bam Siok being rich was true. Hyun Wook sees a family picture on the wall and compliments it only for Bam Siok to comment that he is not one of them. It turns out that his father adopted him after getting into politics to gain a good reputation. He was never loved by anyone in his family which made being a son feel like a job. Bam Siok also comes clear about how he was bullied by his previous classmates who hit him all the time. Upon hearing how he was treated by the bullies, Hyun Wook asks Bam Siok to call them. In the next hour, the three reach the karaoke bar and interrupt the bullies. Bam Siok bravely asks their leader to apologize and, intimidated by Hyun Wook's presence, he does. However, Bam Siok doesn't want to stop there. He goes in to hit the bully with a microphone only to be stopped by Hyun Wook who claims that they are here for an apology, not revenge. Bam Siok is furious at his friend for stopping him. He feels that Hyun Wook treats him like a subordinate and doesn't respect him. Jai Hoon stops the two from quarreling, making them go their separate ways. On his way back home, Bam Siok bumps into T and his friends. At the same time, the bullies from his old school also arrive. T sees that the boys are from an elite school, and drags them into a secluded place to take their money. Taking this opportunity, Bam Siok hits his bully repeatedly. T and his friends see him as a man for the first time and invite him to party with them. Although skeptical, Bam Siok agrees and ends up paying for all their drinks for the night. The guys follow him on Instagram which reminds Bam Siok to unfollow Jai Hoon and Hyun Wook. For the first time in his life, Bam Siok feels respected by his friends and at that moment, he decides that he is going to start a new life for himself with T and his buddies. The following morning, Bam Siok comes to class late because of a hangover. When confronted by Jai Hoon, Bam Siok ignores him and goes to his new friends. They thank him for paying for their hotel rooms and drinks. Bam Siok doesn't remember paying for them which makes him seem even cooler. Jai Hoon, on the other hand, overhears their conversation and is worried for his friend. Later, he brings Bam Siok to the side and asks him why he is acting differently. Bam Siok comes clean about how he always felt disrespected by Hyun Wook. He leaves after claiming that he no longer wants to do anything with both of them. As the days pass, Bam Siok gets closer to T and his group, going as far as to change his seat to be with them all the time. One night, they bring him to a club where they meet the trio's old enemy Su Jom. He doesn't mind hanging out with Bam Siok now that they share the same enemy. After finding out about Bam Siok's father's reputation, he instantly becomes popular among Su Jom's new group of friends. It makes him feel relevant when in reality, they only want to take advantage of him for his money. Somewhere else, Jai Hoon and Hyun Wook meet to talk about Bam Siok. Hyun Wook thinks that Bam Siok was with them for their popularity, and is doing the same with the other group. On the other hand, Jai Hoon is worried for Bam Siok. The next day, Hyun Wook and T get into an altercation when T's group cut the line for lunch. Hyun Wook teaches them a lesson and makes them get in the line like everyone else. Bam Siok, however, refuses to oblige and challenges Hyun Wook. As a result, he is shoved to the table and has to embarrassingly walk away. In a fit of rage, Bam Siok goes to Su Jom and his new friend Wee Young who happens to be an MMA fighter. Bam Siok hires Wee Young to beat up Hyun Wook. 
Wee Young, too, is happy about the opportunity because he once lost to Hyunwook in a match and wants to teach him a lesson. That evening, T and his friends mess with the tires of Hyunwook's scooter. They want him to get into an accident to give Wee Young the upper hand. When they fight, their plan works when Hyunwook crashes and injures his leg. Bam Seok seems happy on seeing Hyunwook limping. They lock eyes in class and Hyunwook gives him a knowing look, making it clear that he suspects Bam Seok of messing with his scooter. A few days later is Hyunwook's birthday. Young Yi and Jai Hoon plan to surprise him, but this is also the day Wee Young is supposed to fight Hyunwook. While waiting for Hyunwook, Young Yi gets a text from Bam Seok. He calls her outside, pretending to have a birthday present for Hyunwook. Even though Young Yi is asked to not tell anyone about the text, she doesn't suspect Bam Seok and goes to meet him. While talking to him, she slowly realizes that she has been set up. Her suspicion is confirmed when she sees Su Jom and his friends nearby. Back at home, Jai Hoon and Hyun Wook meet up and wait for Young Yi to return. Suddenly, Jai Hoon notices a text from Bam Seok on Hyun Wook's phone. He opens it out of curiosity and is shocked to find out Bam Seok has taken Young Yi hostage. He immediately texts back and turns the phone off so Bam Seok won't find out about the incident. He has decided to take care of the situation himself to protect Hyun Wook. After making up an excuse to get out of the house, Jai Hoon goes to the warehouse. Bam Seok is surprised to see him and wants to cancel the plan because he holds no grudges against Jai Hoon. But Su Jom is happy to see Jai Hoon since he can finally take revenge. At first, Jai Hoon drags Young Yi away from the warehouse, asking her to run away but is caught himself. He tries fighting the thugs but doesn't stand a chance against an MMA fighter like Wee Yong. Eventually, Su Jom and his gang hit him repeatedly, and all Bam Seok can do is walk away. Half an hour later, the police arrive and find Jai Hoon passed out on the ground. When asked about what happened, he claims that it was an accident to keep Bam Seok out of trouble. He even goes as far as to ask Young Yi to keep everything secret from Hyun Wook. Hyun Wook wakes up the next morning and realizes his friends didn't return last night. He starts getting worried when Jai Hoon doesn't pick up his call. After school, he goes to Young Yi and inquires about what happened last night but she dismisses the conversation. As the last resort, he approaches T and his minions and finally finds out about what happened in the warehouse. He gathers them up on the roof and beats them up for what they did to his friend. After school, he goes to meet Jai Hoon and make sure he is okay while pretending to be unaware of what happened. Meanwhile, at Bam Seok's home, his father beats him up and threatens to kill him as soon as he returns from the Philippines where he is being sent to attend a foreign school. Having had enough, Bam Seok stands up to him for the first time and runs away in a taxi. In the following scene, we see that Hyun Wook is looking for Bam Seok to teach him a lesson. He finds Su Jom and asks him where Bam Seok is, only to find out he has been missing since that night. Just then, he gets a call from Bam Seok and is asked to come to the gym. It turns out that Bam Seok has still not gotten over wanting to teach Hyun Wook a lesson and has gathered his entire group to watch him get beat up. Hyun Wook apologizes to Bam Seok, taking him by surprise. He thinks that their enmity has crossed a line and he wants them to be friends again. But even after this, Bam Seok remains adamant about getting Hyun Wook beaten. At last, he accepts the challenge, agreeing to go one-on-one -on -one with Wee Young. The fight starts and Wee Young goes straight for Hyun Wook's injured leg. This works as an advantage for him for the first half of the game, but Hyun Wook soon bounces back. The gangsters make a video of the fight to upload on the internet later. When Hyun Wook takes over the match, someone pulls his legs to distract him. This gives Wee Young the upper hand and he knocks Hyun Wook to the ground. Bam Seok joins them in the ring and starts kicking Hyun Wook's limp body. All others join him, mercilessly kicking and stomping on the poor guy. This goes on for hours before Bam Seok's assistant arrives and asks him to stop. When they finally do, the guys check Hyun Wook's pulse and figure out he is dead. They make a run for it and a shocked Bam Seok has to be pulled away. The assistant picks up two guys from the gang and asks them to pretend like Hyun Wook passed out, as they were working out. He wants to paint the incident as an accident to save Bam Seok and his father's reputation. Later, Hyun Wook is taken away in an ambulance. The next day in class, Jai Hoon is still unaware of what happened to Hyun Wook. He suddenly gets a call from Young Yi and runs to the hospital. As it turns out, Hyun Wook isn't dead but is in a coma. His grandmother was made to sign confidentiality papers, so the matter would end right away. Jai Hoon breaks into tears, seeing his friend in such a critical condition. The following day, Jai Hoon goes to Su Jom and beats him up, thinking he is the one who hit Hyun Wook. But he is shown the video of the fight which clearly shows Bam Seok and Wee Young are the perpetrators. With burning rage, Jai Hoon goes to Wee Young and attacks him with a rod, but being a professional fighter, Wee Young blocks him. This eventually turns into a fight with Jai Hoon using techniques taught to him by Hyun Wook. The fight gets intense but in the end, 
Jai Hu manages to defeat Wei Yang and walks away after hitting his leg with a dumbbell. The same day, Bam Siok's father visits the school and is welcomed by the principal. They wait in her office until the exam ends to ensure Bam Siok doesn't get into more trouble. While they are at it, he asks the principal about the kid who got injured just to test the waters. She replies that he passed out while exercising which relieves the man. In the meantime, Jai Hoon enters the classroom in bloodied clothes. He walks straight to T and hits him with a fire extinguisher. After beating up his entire gang, he goes to Bam Siok and tries to hit him as well. But even with a raised fist and everything Bam Siok has done, Jai Hoon still thinks of him as a friend. He cries at his helplessness and punches the window. The entire school, even Bam Siok's father watches the commotion. In the last scene, we see Bam Siok's father watch the video of his son beating up Hyun Wook. He decides to not press any charges against Jai Hoon after that. Hyun Wook is still in a coma but has his friends and grandmother by his side who visit him every day. Jai Hoon, on the other hand, has to transfer schools because of what he did. On the first day of school, a bully approaches him and tries to pick a fight. The movie ends as Jai Hoon stares at the guy with a pen in his hand. Like in the first episode, he clearly intends to use it as a weapon. Subscribe for more video like this, turn on the notification and leave a like and comment. Thank you.